Okay, so hello guys and welcome. It is the SRV2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video. Now, I'm mad because first of all, there's a lot of people have been asking me what's better, stick controls or motion controls or do I use stick controls or do I use motion controls? Let me tell you this straight. And even though this is sticks versus motion, motion controls beat stick controls by far. Now, I really don't want anybody to listen to any big YouTuber or any big Twitch streamer uh, that is streaming this game and they're actually playing stick controls, which the majority of them are, which is pretty damn unfortunate. But the thing is with people who are using stick controls is that you are limiting yourself and actually performing better than you could actually do. Now, at this point in time, I'm using stick controls and primarily, of course, I use motion controls, but I'm going to show you just the differences of... Um, why you should pick motion instead of stick. So first of all, with stick controls, it is much harder to actually track onto your opponents. You spend a lot more time adjusting to your, or adjusting the stick to actually aim onto the opponents. And it's not as quick as uh, motion controls is. So as you see, like I'm kind of just aiming upwards and left and right and stuff like that. Like it's, it's much harder. You give yourself a much harder time. Like I could probably still go into Splatoon and actually do really great with just sticks alone, but you know, I've had that experience, but still. Anyways, motion controls. Let me turn motion controls on. Now, there was one thing that stick controls cannot do that motion controls can do, and it is basically snapping onto your enemy targets. Now, I've turned motion controls on, as you can see, moving with motion controls, and you can tell it's motion controls because it's all smooth and stuff like that, and I can just whip it around like that. Now, snapping onto your targets. Look how much faster I'm able to aim onto people using motion controls. Now, motion controls is probably the closest equivalent to mouse and keyboard aiming on a PC shooter. Uh, considering Splatoon is a console shooter and it requires a controller that has motion controls uh, in, well, implemented into it. This is the closest we're going to get to, and it is amazing. Now, many PC players would tell you, never play a first-person shooter with controllers and never use it with sticks. They would always tell you to use mouse and keyboard, and motion controls in this game is the closest you're going to get to it. You can snap onto people easily. The thing is, it's not even that hard. Like, the first time I ever played Splatoon, I mean, I played the first game like two years ago, and I started off with motion controls. It was just pretty much natural to me. And I didn't have any problems. Like, all I did was just kind of learn how to play it. I learned how to do it in like the first 30 minutes. It wasn't even that hard. Like, stuff like this. You cannot do this with sticks. You can't do this this fast with sticks. Snapping onto people like this, this fast. If you use stick controls, you're going to spend at least one second or majority of the time, two seconds trying to adjust your aim. Uh, let me change that back. When you're trying to adjust your aim to actually aim at targets. Now you can say, oh, why don't you turn your sensitivity up and stuff like that. Well, this is an example of how much slower I have to aim to actually aim at these targets right here. This is how much slower. There's a lot more adjusting I have to do because I'm trying to like get it to the aimer or trying to get the, the dummy into the crosshair. But look how much slower it is. With motion controls, it takes less than a second. With this, it's taking seconds. It shouldn't be taking seconds to actually snap onto targets like this. First of all, I'm not even snapping onto the targets actually, so... That's the problem. So, that is one thing. Let me actually change my sensitivity to the highest, just to show you that... Putting on a higher sensitivity doesn't even give it any more justice. Alright. Look how much more- look how much more I have to move actually. Okay. Adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. With motion controls, a slight adjustment. Sticks, there's a lot of adjustment. You actually have to make seven more inputs to actually aim at your target that you want to aim at. And this is just not optimal. You shouldn't want to take this much time to actually aim into your opponent like this. This is why you use motion controls in the first place. And let me just show you the example of motion controls once again. With motion controls, there's slight adjustments. Like, sometimes you won't be able to just perfectly snap onto targets like this, but... As you can see, there's just slight adjustments. Like, I snap onto it, and sometimes it's perfect, and sometimes, you know, it's just a slight adjustment where I need to move my arms just a little left and actually aim at your target. But as you can see, 
it takes less than a second to actually snap onto a target and get my three shots in. Very, very easy. Simple. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Like, you need to experiment with your sensitivities. You need to experiment with your stick controls. With Splatoon 2, it's a lot more interesting because they allow you to be more free. They allow you to change your stick controls and your motion controls. So it's not just uh, one solid sensitivity now. You can actually be more... Uh, you can find the mo thing that's most comfortable for you. Like, if you want a fast camera sensitivity, you can. If you want fast motion or slow motion controls, you can. There's a lot of... Uh, adjustment that you can, adjustments you can make now another thing even though it kind of goes into the snapping idea it is basically just a 180 turn look how much faster a 180 turn is this is something you can't do with sticks you can't aim this fast you can't move your crosser this fast it doesn't even matter how fast your sensitivity for motion controls is like it, you can have a really slow sensitivity and still whip your controller around and do 180s like this and snap your controller onto enemies targets like this it all just depends on how comfortable you are with your sensitivity and with this sensitivity i'm using right now i'm comfortable with it so that's why i'm able to aim this fast but like that easy now let me just show you with stick controls again turning motion controls off stick controls all right i want to do that thing that i just did this crazy snap look how much longer it takes one one. 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 It takes a whole second for you to turn around. Where with motion controls, I can just turn around in less than a second. Less than probably a half a second. Let me try aiming at these targets again. There's so much adjustment. Look how much slower it is. Now, I'm probably just blurting a bunch of information into you guys, but the two key things that you can take away from this is time and movement. Now, movement is probably one of the most important things, and it allows, with motion controls, it allows you to do so much more, like, stuff like splat dashing and stuff like that. It's easy, much easier to do sub-strafing. When you're trying to get onto walls, it's just much quicker. You can aim when you jump off a ledge much easier. If you're coming up to a situation where you see one guy... Oh, I know someone's behind me. Whoa, quick, quick. Time and movement. Time and movement are one of the two key things about motion controls that sticks does not have. You're much quicker on aiming. You're much quicker on, on your movement. You can react to things so much faster. It's much more twitchy. And all together, it's just, it's just saving a lot of time. Even with stuff like I'm trying to do objective things. Like if there's like 30 seconds on the clock and you need to get to the tower much faster. Motion controls is far superior with that because with its movement options. Like you have splat dashing so much easier to do. Uh, if you want to go on a wall right there, it's much easier. You can just do that. Oh, I need to go on that wall. Oh, easy. So I'm trying to get to an objective. Oh, I see a guy. Oh, I need to go into the wall so I can get up to the objective. Quick. Quick. Now let me change the sticks real quick. This is the sticks example. I see a guy. I need to get him. Okay, I killed him. Alright, I need to turn. Alright, now I can get onto the wall. I tried to do that as fast as I can, actually. So... Uh, right there. There's so many more inputs I need to put in to actually get onto this wall to get to the objective or wherever I need to go. With motion controls, I did that in just, just seamlessly. Like, it was just a couple movements with my arms and I was already there. I may sound a little bit frustrated in this video, I'm not gonna lie, but I really want to stress to any newcomer that's going to play Splatoon and wants to get into... Basically, be better at the game. Go as far as they possibly can with the game as well. If they want to get into the competitive scene, the best way is to use motion controls. Now, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Now, please, please, if you see any big YouTuber or any big Twitch streamer using stick controls, scream at them and say, use motion controls. Don't be persuaded by them to use stick controls. It is a waste of time. And you are not play. You will not be able to play the most optimal way in Splatoon 2. So sorry if I sound a little bit frustrated. I, mean, I, I was just watching this big Twitch streamer, and he was using stick controls. And somebody said, "Why don't you use motion controls?" And then he just gave the weirdest face of like disgust of why would I ever use motion controls? And I'm just like, no, 
No, this this needs to stop. This has to stop now. So I'm here to stop it. I'm here to make this video. I'm putting this up now. People need to know. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been the SRB2 Dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.